I just realized my microphone was like not plugged in correctly or possibly at all. Um, so sorry if it sounded like I was in a wind tunnel every time I started writing on the screen. Um, and it uses my computer mic. Okay, anyway. Oh, uh, we're taking apart. Oh, hey. Uh, we're taking apart the one hole. And then we're asking ourselves can we take away one eighth from three eighths? And yeah, we absolutely can because three eighths is larger than one eighth. This is just a new thing that we have to think about when we're subtracting fractions, um, especially with mixed numbers. Is can I take away? the small or the second fraction from the first fraction. All right, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 2 eighths, but oh, they're both even. So we know that if our numerator is even and our denominator is even, it has to be simplified. So divide by 2, and we get 1 fourth. OK, that looks good. So let's bring that 1 fourth back over here. So if we take, if we take, I can talk. Um, if we take one and three eighths of a brown rod and take away one eighth of a brown rod, we should have one and one fourth of a brown rod left, or one and two eighths, but we're better than that. We know it's one and one fourth, right? All right, so let's clear the screen and let us take a look at that in a picture. So here is our one hole. Um, I can label this this time and it won't sound like a thunderstorm. So one hole, right? And if that's one hole, um, this looks like one fourth. That looks like, well, maybe I shouldn't say two fourths. This is another fourth. This is another fourth. And this is another fourth. This is another one fourth. Let's be specific, Mr. Johnson. Okay, so if those are fourths, that would suggest, oh goodness, that what we are looking at at the very end here are eighths, because if this is one eighth and this is one eighth, remember that. That's 2 eighths, which does equal 1 fourth. And you can kind of see here's 1 fourth, which is the same thing as 2 eighths. Ta da! All right, so they actually have 3 eighths right here, right? So this is the one whole and 3 eighths. And then we are taking away 1 eighth with that scribbly line. So bye bye eighth, right? And that left us with one hole and two eighths or one hole and one fourth. So when we took away the one eighth, we got one hole and one fourth. And you can see that and let me outline it in like pink. There's one hole and one fourth. And you might be saying, hey, that's two eighths. But remember, two eighths is one fourth. It's circled in pink, so it's true. Um, next slide. Seven eighths of a brown rod minus one fourth of a brown rod. So they're moving us kind of quick because they know that we know how to add fractions. So if if you need to review these, review them. And, you know, this is already we've gone from common denominators to mixed numbers and we're already subtracting with different denominators so um make sure that you're working on stuff like that okay now um so let's ask ourselves the first question for adding and subtracting fractions are my denominators the same no they're not can i turn one of my denominators into the other using multiplication of whole numbers yes i can i can turn a four into an eight if i multiply by two so I'm going to rewrite my fractions. I have 7 eighths minus 2 eighths. And my first fraction is larger than my second fraction. So yes, this will work. 7 minus 2 is 5. And we have 5 eighths. And remember, 5 is prime. So if my denominator cannot be divided by my numerator, then that is simplified if I have a prime numerator. So that's a place where knowing prime and composite can help you out. All right, so 5 eighths is simplified. There is no number that goes into 5 and 8 evenly. No whole number that goes into 5 or 8 evenly, except for the number 1. So we're going to leave that where it is. All right, and then when we come back, we're going to take a look at a picture with quiz and air rods or fraction strips of 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. I'll see you then.